Hello students, I am Archana Bhatt, lecturer in the Department of Commerce. In this session, we are going to study about agricultural income. According to section 2, subsection 1 of the Income Tax Act of 1961, agricultural income means any rent or revenue derived from land which is situated in India and is used for agricultural purpose. Any income derived from such land by agricultural operations or any process by cultivator or receiver of rent in kind which render the produce fit for the market or the sale of such produce. Here rent in kind means share in the produce grown by the cultivator of the land. If uh, one person is lending his uh, land to another person to cultivate his land, the share of uh, that produce is known as rent in kind received by the owner of the land or any income from a farmhouse. This is known as agricultural income according to section 2 subsection 1 of the Income Tax Act of 1961. There are some conditions to be satisfied to consider the income as agricultural income. Such conditions are as follows. First one, the land must be situated in India. If the land is situated outside India, the income from such land will not be treated as agricultural income. So the land must be situated in India. Second condition is land must be used for agricultural purpose only. It means uh, agricultural purpose means tilling of the land, watering it sowing the seeds, planting and similar operations on the land must be carried out by the SSC. Third condition is the receiver of income from the land must have interest in the land. The landlord or tenant are the interested parties in the land. Landlord who uh, lend his uh, land to the tenant who grow products in that land. If a person purchases a standing crop or after cutting it, sells it and makes profit, the profit is not considered as agricultural income. The income of owner of the land or tenant is considered as agricultural income. The direct the next condition is the direct income from agriculture is treated as agricultural income. Any indirect income from agriculture is not considered as agricultural income. For example, salary of farm manager or dividend from the company engaged in agricultural activities is not uh, considered as agricultural income. Here the income must be direct that is uh, from sale of a produce produced in the land or rent in kind is considered as agricultural income. So these are the conditions to be satisfied to consider the income as agricultural income. So agricultural income means any rent or revenue uh, derived from land which is situated in India and used only for agricultural purpose or any income derived from such land by agricultural operations by the cultivator or the receiver of rent in kind or any income from a farmhouse is considered as agricultural income. Then what are the kinds of agricultural income? There are various types of agricultural income. First one rent or revenue derived from land. 
when one person grants to another person a right to use the land for agricultural purposes the owner of the land receives from the tenant rent or revenue in consideration for such uses such rent or revenue is treated as agricultural income second kind of agricultural income is income from agricultural operations it means cultivation of a field tilling of the land watering it sowing the seeds planting or similar operations on the land is known as agricultural income here the main thing is products which grow wild on the land or are of spontaneous growth not involving any human labor or skills upon the land are not products of agriculture for example uh, grass widely grown in the land or trees grown widely in the land if you sell such uh, products that income is not considered as agricultural income if uh, the cultivator grows the uh, grass or he grows the trees and then uh, the income from selling such things is considered as agricultural income but without any human labor if uh, anything grows or the cultivator or owner sells it it is not considered as agricultural income third kind of agricultural income is income from making produce fit for market that means income from agricultural products if there is no market for the produce of the field uh, and the cultivator or receiver of rent in kind performs any activity to make the produce fit for market any income from such activities is also considered as agricultural income next kind is income from sale of produce any income derived by a cultivator or receiver of a rent in kind from the sale of produce raised or received by him is treated as agricultural income even if he keeps a shop for the sale of such products that means if the cultivator or receiver of rent in kind uh, gets any income from the sale of agricultural products uh, which is uh, sold in his own shop is also considered as agricultural income next ki next kind of income is income from a farm house the income from a farm house is treated as agricultural income if some conditions are satisfied the conditions are as follows see the first one the building is owned and occupied by the cultivator or receiver of the rent or revenue of any such land here income from farm house situated in the land uh, is considered as agricultural income any income derived from such farm house or building the first uh, income is rent or revenue of the building second one is it is situated near the agricultural land the land uh, the agricult sorry the farm house must be situated near the agricultural land third condition is the building is used for agricultural purpose only other than agricultural purpose for any other purpose if the farm house is used that is not considered as agricultural income the use of uh, that farm house may involve uh, using of a building as store house or out house or dwelling house etc fourth condition is the land is either assessed to land revenue in india or subject to a local tax 
the land revenue or local tax is not payable uh, on some uh, farmhouse such farm such land must be situated in non urban area the land is situated within municipality or cantonment board jurisdiction has a population of less than 10000 and in any area within a distance of 8 kilometers from the local limits of such muni municipality or cantonment board this area of 8 kilometers may be reduced by the central government considering the need of urbanization so here uh, conditions uh, for considering the income from farm house as agricultural income uh, are the building is owned and occupied by the cultivator or receiver of rent in kind second one uh, it is situated near the agricultural land third one the building is uh, used for agricultural purpose and fourth one the land is either assessed to land revenue in india or subject to a local tax here the land revenue or local tax is not payable on uh, some uh, agricultural land such land is situated in non urban area the land is situated within municipality or cantonment board jurisdiction uh, has a population less than 10000 the population must be less than 10000 population must be less than 10000 and in any area within the distance of 8 kilometers from the local limits of such municipality so these are the conditions let us see some of the examples for agricultural income these are the examples see income from growing trade and commercial products like jute cotton etc income from growing flowers and creepers remuneration and interest to partner of agricultural land income arising by sale of trees grown on uh, denuded parts of the forest after replanting compensation received from insurance company for damage caused by hail storm hail storm means alikallu male any fee derived from land used for grazing of cattle being used for agricultural operations any income derived from salping and seedings grown in a nursery rent of agricultural land received from sub tenants so these are the examples of agricultural income so let us see some of the examples of non agricultural income such a non agricultural incomes include salary received by a person having agricultural income any salary received by a person who is having uh, agricultural income is not considered as agricultural income such a salary is not considered as agricultural income next one dividend received from a company engaged in agricultural operation income from salt produced with sea water production of salt is not considered as agricultural income income from fisheries poultry farming dairy farming etc is not not considered as agricultural income profit or sale of standing crops after harvest where such crops were acquired through purchase here profit on sale of st uh, standing crops uh, purchased from the cultivator such profit is not considered as agricultural income 
royalty income from mines remuneration to a director or managing director from a company engaged in agricultural business income earned by a cultivator from conversion of sugarcane to jaggery here uh, sugar factories income of sugar factories are not considered as agricultural income next one income from a land situated outside india income on supply of water for agricultural operations next one income from sale of trees and grass grown without any human efforts and income received by a money lender in the form of agricultural produce these are some of the examples of non agricultural income so just go through this agricultural income and non agricultural income and examples for that no explanation is needed by reading that sentence you can understand it very well the next concept and uh, important concept is partially agricultural income some income may partly agricultural and partly by non agricultural in nature some uh, income derived from agricultural operations are considered partly as agricultural income and partly as non agricultural income that is chargeable under the head of profits and gains from business here the part of that income is considered as profits or uh, and gains from business here a part of the agricultural income is exempted from tax and part is taxable under the head profits and gains from agricultural sorry profits and gains from business some examples are the bifur bifurcation of agricultural income and non agricultural income uh, are as follows see these are some of the examples of agricultural income or income which is considered as partially agricultural income and partially as non agricultural income here agricultural incomes are exempted from tax and non agricultural incomes are taxable under the head profits and gains from business see the first one growing and manufacturing of tea here growing and manufacturing of tree partially considered as agricultural income and exempted from tax here 60% of growing and manufacturing of tea income is exempted and 40% of such incomes are considered as non agricultural income and taxable under the head profits and gains from business second one income from growing and manufacturing of rubber here 65% of the income is exempted from tax and 35% is taxable next one is growing and manufacturing of coffee here 75% is exempted from tax and 25% is taxable under the head profits and loss from profits and gains from business next one growing and manufacturing of coffee grown cured roasted and grounded income from such activities 60% is exempted and 40% is taxable just go through this uh, table this is important just remember this uh, percentage okay so this is about agricultural income here we discussed what is agricultural income and conditions to be satisfied to consider uh, the income as agricultural income examples for agricultural income 
examples for non agricultural income and kinds of agricultural income and the bifurcation of agricultural income and non agricultural income for uh, each type of business this is important concept uh, which may come uh, for 6 marks or uh, 12 marks as a theory question so you have to read this uh, concept thoroughly thank you students let us uh, meet in the next session